Oliver Wendell Holmes Sr. was born on August 29, 1809 in Cambridge, Massachusetts to Reverend Abel Holmes and his second wife, Sarah Wendell. Since childhood, Oliver suffered from asthma but was considered a bright and talented boy. He used to visit his father's library often and explored the writings of Oliver Goldsmith and John Dryden. He wrote his first poem at 13. He was taught by William Bigelow and Dame Prentice and was later enrolled in the Port School in Cambridgeport. His teachers often scolded him for reading stories at school. At 15, Oliver Wendell was sent to Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts by his father who wanted him to follow in his footsteps. The academy was renowned for its traditional Kabbalist teachings, but Oliver did not want to be a theologian and thus did not savor the year he spent at the academy. At 16, Har he joined Harvard College and completed his graduation in 1829. He served as secretary and poet to the Hasty Pudding and was also elected to the Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society. After graduating, he studied at Harvard Law College for a sh short while but later decided to pursue medicine and went to Boston Medical College. In 1833, he went to Paris and studied in the renowned medical schools for a while, and he was amongst the first Americans who received training at the École de Médecine. He went back to Harvard to complete his, an MD from Harvard Medical School in 1836. He was among 20 students who received a Church's a scholastic honor when he was in his second year. In 1830, he penned down many poems, of which he gave 25 to the Collagen, a publication formed by his Harvard friends. Four of these were counted among his best writings. His other poem, The Last Leaf, was considered as one of his finest works. Abraham Lincoln was all praised about the poem. His two essays under the title The Autocrat of the Breakfast Table were published by the New England Magazine in November 1831. And in February 1832, detailing life as observed from his boarding's breakfast table, the two essays came out to be one of his most finest and popular works. Post his graduation, he joined Boston Medical Society, Boston Society for Medical Improvement, and Massachusetts Medical Society. In 1837, he won the Boyston Prize from the Harvard Medical School after placing a paper on the benefits of stethoscope after he joined the Boston Dispensary and him and his peers set up the Trentmore Medical School in Boston, which was afterwards merged with Harvard Medical School. In 1838, he became a fellow of American Academy of Arts and Science. From 1838 to 1840, he remained a professor of Dartmouth Medical School and taught psychology and anatomy. In 1842, his essay, Homepathy and Its Kindred Delusions, Condemning the Subject, was published. From 1847 to 1853, he remained the dean of Harvard Medical College and also served as a professor of anatomy and psychology till 1882. In 1884, he toured Europe with his daughter and met several renowned writers. He was awarded honorary doctorates by Cambridge, Oxford, and Edinburgh universities, as well as Yale University. In 1886, he wrote a patriotic poem, Old Ironsides, which was published in the Boston Daily Advisor on September 16, 1830, opposing the dismantling and scraping of the 18th century Old Navy Frigate USS Constitution. The poem garnered national attention and brought him praises resulting in preserving of the historic ship. His essay, The Contagiousness of Pure Fever, published in 1843 and republished in 1855 as Pure Fever as a Private Pestilence, was considered one of his remarkable and revolutionary contributions to medical science and its practices. On June 15, 1840, he married Amelia Lee Jackson, who was the daughter of Justice Charles Jackson at King's Chapel in Boston. The couple had three children, Amelia Lee Jackson, Edward Jackson Holmes, and Oliver Wendell Holmes, who was an officer of Civil War and American journalist. His wife died on February 6, 1888. He died on October 7, 1894, while in sleep. He was buried in the Mount Auburn Cemetery in Cambridge, Massachusetts, besides his wife. He was often requested to write poems commemorating special occasions such as birthdays and anniversaries.
The library of Phillips Academy where he studied was named after him as Oliver Wendell Holmes Library. A special selection of the library is dedicated for songs, poems, essays, and medical papers collected from his personal library.